time over at the Spitfire. Spitfire? It's your best chance for a job, and apart from the local jail, it's the only guest room in town. <laughs> Looks like Hannah's burning the midnight oil. She 
appeared on the street last night, right at the midnight bell. I think you read too many of the tabloids that you sell. I hear people talk all over town. I thought that you should know. Nice to see you're so concerned. Now take a seat or go. Imagine gossip and kill you. I'm not one to repeat gossip. No, Effie, you're always the one who starts it. Say what you want, say what you will. Something's cooking in the fire grill. Well, can I bring you? Head and nose what I'm having. You don't want coffee with that? Little Miss White Trash has no right to speak to me like that. Besides the stinking coffee, I think I smell a rat. And I'll spread the word all over town. She won't get tipped one day.
seven days since I first walked through the door. Every day the same as the day that I came before. Coffee cups and gossip every morning when I rise. Coffee cups and gossip, dirty plates, suspicious eyes. They could see what's in my mind. I'd only wish they'd say, I wish they'd
Yes, I can hear the sirens well. I really should have quit before I began, but they're saying under condition, and I'm out of fire. Back in the frying pan. Man. Okay. So, it's 
Taylor really trying to sell this place? I don't know. She might just give it away. Not really. I think the Spitfire reminds her of better times. I don't mean to pry. Oh, no, it's not that. It's just she never really talks about it. About what? Hannah had a son. Eli was his name, tall and sweet and strong, loved by everyone. He was like a brother to Caleb. We all looked up to him. As long as he was here, nothing could go wrong. And then the Vietnam War came. You get drafted? No, he enlisted. Eli's dad, Jack, was kind of a hero in World War II. So when it was Eli's turn to serve, he was raring to go. On the day of his send-off, we all put on our Sunday best. Eight years old, with a flag in my hand. Step for step, with the big marching band, through the streets, picket fence, whitewash white, every house, perfect trim, painted bright, like Eli, we were brave, there was a world to save.
Gess's heart just gave out from it. The day after he died, Hannah put the grill up for sale. My. Hannah must have wanted to get rid of this place real bad. She still does. She's always pestering Caleb to try and find a buyer. She says she couldn't unload this grill if it was the booby prize at the Lions Club raffle. <laughs> raffle? Well, why doesn't she? Why doesn't she what? Raffle it off. <clears throat> People do it all the time. Ten dollars for a chance to win a TV set or something. For a whole grill, I suppose you could ask even more. Percy! Shelby, I don't smell coffee brewing! Fall day you heard of those. I heard that. Way home.
Main Street location. Good potential. How's that sound? Awful, huh? It's all right, I guess. But if I was going to gamble $100, I'd want it to be someplace, you know, special. <laughs> Besides, it's not just the Spitfire that you can get. It's Gilead, too. There's nothing very special about Gilead. You just got to help folks picture it right. Have you ever dreamed of a town so small they roam the sidewalk up where the waitress spills the gossip as she fills your coffee cup where the post office and barber shop are in the general store and the only street is Main Street and it runs by your front door. I don't know. No. I like that. Keep going. What else? You ever want to lose yourself and wander where you please? Well, you can walk a hundred miles and never leave the trees. Just step outside your back door when you want to run away. There's a creek that you can follow on a lazy summer day.
I don't have my glasses. What does it say? Win the hometown grill. Enter the Spitfire raffle. Tell me this is just some kind of joke. Sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's funny, all right. I can hear the whole county laugh right now. What the hell were you thinking? To tell you the truth, Shelby and Percy did the thinking. Shelby and Percy? Well, that's just great. The Spitfire's been on the market ten years now, Caleb. I thought it was time to try something new. Or maybe you're hoping I'd leave it to you when I kick over. Why would I want this old grill? Oh, it might be worth a little something. Lord knows it would have been worth a hell of a lot more if you'd sold it ten years ago, before they ran the highway through Mineral Point instead of here. I suppose that was my fault. Krebs! Must be my fault the quarry closed, too. Of course, none of that would have happened if Eli was alive. You leave him out of this. Why? It's what you're always thinking. You and Shelby and everybody, if only Caleb. Eli... Maybe that's what you're always thinking. Don't even pretend to know what I'm thinking. Oh, the hell with it. Go ahead, raffle it off. Don't even know I tried. Take a wife, settle in with the working life. Shoulder to shoulder, dig and stone. Pay hard cash for all you own. A man is more than blood and bone when he's shoulder to shoulder, dig and stone. The quarry's closed, Caleb. The past is dead. Then hard times come to town. Shake your man and shut you down. Set you up just to watch you fall. Take your heart and make you crawl. Where are the days when a man could lift his head? Proud of the way he earned his daily bed. Shoulder to shoulder, dig it. Pay about cash for all you owe. A man is more than blood and bone when he's shoulder to shoulder digging stone. Stand back up, get knocked down. Watch as a stranger takes your town. Suck it in and the swallow lies. Something deep in your belly dies. What does it take for a man to feel some pride? Not lie awake, wish it for a whole to hide. So that it's all that dig and stone. Pay hard cash for all you own. A man is more than blood and bone when he's shown that moment. Come up strong. Paid my dues, tried to walk in Eli's shoes. Shoes don't fit, foot's too small. Maybe I ain't a man at all. Maybe I ain't a man.
didn't show up for our parole session last night. Look, why don't you give me a list of all your damn questions, and I'll answer them when I got the time. Hey, it's my job, and I got to do it. Yes, I show up for work every day. Yes, I tell my employer where I go at night. No, I don't have contact with anyone I knew in prison. Yes, I'm getting along just fine at my job. You can ask anybody in town, and they'll tell you exactly what they think of me. Okay. Okay, forget about the list. Let's just talk. Without that list, there ain't much for us to talk about, is there? <laughs> You're right. We can sit here as long as you want, just staring at my woods. Your woods. Well, it will be when the old man passes on. Every worthless acre from Hannah's property all the way to the river. Never seen so many trees before. A country girl like you. Does it say in your papers there I was born in the West Virginia mountains? Uh-huh. Well, I don't remember no trees. <laughs> Just coal mines. <laughs> My daddy's fingers were always black from tar, even after he washed them. And I would talk till he killed him. Father deceased. That's when Mama moved us north to the city. Only trees I'll remember was in magazines and picture books. But this is better than any picture. It's beautiful. It's a damn shame that's all it is. Back before I was born, a forest of old trees kept watch over the town. But the lumberman came and swung a big axe and cut the forest down. And what grew back is no damn good. Just scrub trees and brush wood. It's all pretty worthless. As soon as it's mine, I'll sell the whole lot and get the hell out of here. You really want to leave. When you live your whole life in the town of Gilead, every morning you wake up to another wasted day. When I have enough cash, I'm taking a train a million miles away.
picture of ice water in Effie's lap on purpose. Oh, she did not. She was just about to order seconds on my apple brown Betty. Good thing you're learning how to cook, Percy. A way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Or at least somewhere in that vicinity. <laughs> And who said I wanted a man? You don't think Joe Sutter's been taking a particular interest in you lately? Oh, he's my parole officer. I think the sheriff's interested in more than just your parole, Miss Talley. Yeah, right. That boy's just plain lonely. Whatever you say, but it doesn't take a fortune teller to picture you and Joe with a truckload of kids someday. I ain't no kind of damn mother. Per Percy, Do you I know what I am? I'm a wild bird, Shelby. Wild bird don't have no nest. Aren't you girls finished yet? Too slow to catch a cold. Here comes the town crier. Grill's not open, Effie. I know what time you close. A letter came for you this morning. Did it take longer than usual for you to steam it open? <laughs> Pat Ferguson, care of the Spitfire Grill. Who do you know from Philadelphia? I'm sure I have no idea. I'm not sure I'll open it just yet. Oh. <laughs> Here, shall we? You open it. Come, 
My name's Percy. You got a name? Percy? Maybe next time we won't be so rushed and we'll have more chance to chat. Shoot the moon, shoot the moon. Shoot the moon. Leave the car. 